Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to math. Today is lesson 15-4, and I want to say this like Antoinette in The Tale of Despero. Oh, the last one, my babies. It is the last one. Oh, remember when she said that? Yeah, how fun was that story? All right, we're going to review a little bit from yesterday. Remember when we're talking about fractions, we always have a line. We have a number up at the top and a number on the bottom. The number on the bottom is the denominator. That means how many pieces did you cut your shape into? Okay? And the top one is the numerator. And that's the, do you see how it almost says number? Yeah, you can almost put the word number there. How many did you take out of the whole thing, okay? Numerator means how many, but the denominator means the total pieces, okay? Now, what if I took all the pieces? then that's going to equal 1. Remember, if those numbers are the same, that equals one whole piece, one whole number, one whole object, okay? And there we go, one whole object. If I cut it into two pieces, each piece is worth 1, but my bottom denominator means I've cut it into two parts, okay? Now sometimes, and I'm gonna show you this part, this is like a third grade thing. Sometimes on a test, a good test to look at is your spelling test. How many problems or how many words do I always put on a spelling test? 10. So 10 is your denominator, okay? Because it's worth 10 points. There are 10 things on that piece of paper. How many did you get right? Okay, now most of the time you get 11. So that's more than 10. That means you got an A++++. Let's say I got 9. So did I get them all right? No, I just missed one. So my fraction is 9 out of 10. That means I got 9 right out of 10. And doing your math in your head, you can see that 9 and 10 are only one number away from each other, one hop, which means I missed 1, okay? So sometimes you will see fractions on papers for grades. The denominator is the total amount of points, the total amount of shares, and the numerator is how many you took, okay? Very good. All right, first page is easy cheesy. You've got a blanket. I want you to put it into two equal shares and color one share yellow and one share orange. And how would you describe the yellow side? And I would sure like to see a fraction, okay? All right, let's go to the next page. We have done a lot of this already, but today we're going to not have just a number one on the top. We're gonna add more to the numerators, okay? And this is gonna be so fun. All right, Miss Rose's curtain is divided into four equal shares. All right, so we're just gonna draw this. There's our curtain. And first, I'm going to eyeball it. Okay. My curtain is divided into four equal shares. One, two, three, four. Now, remember what we talked about? I like it when we label the fractions. Is this whole thing a one? Yes. Now, look what's going to happen if I add this and this and this and this. One plus one plus one plus one equals what? JJ, good job, it's a four. And how many pieces are there? Four. So guess what, 
4 over 4. What did we say if our numerator and denominator are the same number? It equals 1. Isn't that so awesome? So we have one curtain. We divided it four times. And if I added all the pieces together, I would get a whole shape. I would get the whole number one. I just love, I love fractions. I really do. Okay. Now, in this classroom, the teacher would like two shares to be read. And two shares to be blue. All right. And that's my artistic ability for today. All right. Did I do what she said? Yes. But her picture looks way better. All right. Now tell me how many shares are red and how many shares are blue. Okay. Two shares are red. So what would that fraction be? Two out of four are red. And how many are blue? Two out of four are blue. Good job. Do you see how you can make, you can have a numerator that is more than one. And we just did that right there. One plus one is two. One plus one is two. Okay, let's go down to number one on our sheet. Pete makes a purple and yellow flag. The flag is divided into fourths. Two shares are yellow, and the rest of the flag is purple. How many shares are purple? Okay, well first let's draw our flag. And we're gonna draw it into four. Okay, because they said fourths. And you know what, I don't think I have yellow, but lime green might work, and I'm just gonna say yellow. Okay, there's yellow for one share and yellow for a second share okay and I'm gonna put remember it's this piece is worth one out of four and purple are the last ones okay everybody with me so far okay now remember you can draw that over there while I'm waiting okay Two shares are yellow. The rest of the flag is purple. How many shares are purple? Let's just count. One, two. Good job, Isaiah. Thank you for counting out loud. I love it when you guys do that. So two shares are purple. Two out of what? Two out of four. So what would we say the fraction is for purple? I have two of them are purple out of how many? Out of four. So do you see how that fraction is two over four? Okay. Now, if it's confusing, remember, we are not experts yet, are we? We will be experts in second grade, though, won't we? And we're going to be on a head start for second grade. You guys are doing an awesome job. All right, number two. Tracy's pizza is cut into halves. She eats one of the shares. And I probably should have my pizza out here today. All right, there's my pizza. It's divided into halves. One over two. One over two. She's going to eat one of those shares. You see that? One of those shares. So how much did she eat? She ate one out of two equal shares. So when I write it as a fraction, now on your paper, you're going to write Tracy eats one out of two. Out of two. Let's write it in a fraction. She ate one out of two. What's another word for that fraction right there? As I push my board back up. One half, good job. 
Elijah, you are on the ball today, mister. Wow, I am excited about that. All right, let's go down to number three. Maya cut her sandwich into quarters. Two of the shares have cheese. What share of the sandwich does not have cheese? Okay, the best thing to do is for you to draw a sandwich, okay? It's really easy if you draw the picture. Now, it says she draw she cuts her sandwich into quarters. What's the other word for quarter, Noel? Good girl, fourths. Fourths means I have cut my sandwich into how many pieces? Liza, four. Good girl. Fourths, four quarters. Here we go. So there are my four quarters. And let's look at the next part. Two of them have cheese. I'll put a big C. Two of them have cheese. Who does not have cheese? Well, this guy doesn't have cheese. This guy doesn't have cheese. So what's my share? What's my share of pieces? And we're going to do the same something out of something. And I'm going to choose Travis. All right. Two pieces do not have cheese. Out of how many? One, two, three, four. Remember, our denominator is four. Out of Four. So how would we write that fraction? Well, I'm going to put a one-fourth and a one-fourth, and I'm going to add one and one, and it turns out to be a two, doesn't it? Can you see what I wrote down there? Two over four. Two pieces out of four did not have cheese. You guys are really coming along strong. All right, Maddox, how about if you read number four for me? Okay, good job. Did everybody hear Maddox? Oh, you, you did not hear? Okay, Ellie, you know what? If you and Eleanor weren't talking so much, you would have heard me. All right, here we go. Color the correct number of shares to continue the pattern. Ooh. All right. That was kind of easy, wasn't it? Kaden, you're laughing because it's too easy, right? And Julian, I hear you laughing, and I hear the boys' table back there. Maddox, Wes, Lukey, and Case, and everybody's cracking up. That one was too easy for us, wasn't it? All right, let's go to the back page. Number five. Draw a picture to show the shares of a pizza that Stephen has. So we're going to have to make a pizza. So I'm going to erase our sandwich with cheese. And we're going to draw a pizza next. Draw a picture, because Kim has a pizza. And she's going to cut her pizza into four equal shares. All right. And Emery, would you like, since it is your birthday today, would you like to cut that into fours for me? Actually, your birthday was yesterday, wasn't it? I'm a day off, aren't I? All right, here we go. The birthday girl's going to cut it down that way. Now she has two, but I need her to have four. So two plus two is four. Let's cut it again. All right, here we go. I think yours looks better, Emery. Mine was kind of sloppy. All right, Kim cuts a pizza into four equal shares. Now, I would like you to do this, all right? Now, let's label each piece of the pizza. This piece is worth one over four. It is one piece, numerator is one, denominator is how many pieces? One, two, three, four. Denominator is four. Each piece is worth one quarter or one fourth. And if I add one plus one plus one plus one, I'm going to get four. It is so easy how that works out. Remember, I love counting because counting can help me do any math problem. All right. She is going to give half of the pizza to Stephen. 
Mrs. Nutter, you didn't say anything about halves. You said fourths. Oh, boy. All right, Noelle, what are we going to do? Can you help me on this? I know you love this. All right, let's pretend this pizza is half. Where did we draw the half first? Right here, didn't we? All right, she's going to give half to Stephen. What piece did she actually give him? She gave him a half, but how many shares? Ooh. Liza, she gave him two out of four, which is really half. Those two things are the same. Two over four is the same as one over two. Reasoning, number six. How many shares of the pizza are left after she gives half to Stephen? And I'm just going to erase Stephen was hungry. His is gone. How many shares are left? Two shares out of four. So you're going to write two out of four. And I would like you to also write the fraction. The numerator is two because I can count two. One, two. And how many pieces did I have? I did have four, so she was left with two out of the four. Okay, what if Kim only gave Stephen one part of the pizza? So let's draw that part back in. And Stephen took this part, okay? Stephen already ate that. How much did Stephen eat? He ate one-fourth. Good job. Oh, I love that. I heard a lot of kids calling out that answer. Jersey, you are on the ball today. So if Stephen only got one-fourth, how much did he leave Kim? Well, guess what? We're going to count again. One, two, three. Kim was left with three pieces out of, Isaiah, how many pieces were there in that pizza? There were four. Good job. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick. We started out with a whole pizza, didn't we? How much is a whole pizza worth? Right, it's worth one, okay? Let's add one plus three. Let's just add those all back together. One plus three is four, and I'm gonna tell you a secret. The only way you can add these straight across is if the bottoms are the same number, okay? Denominators must be the same number. And then you can just add the top, just like you would an addition problem. One plus three is four, and remember we're still gonna put out of, and what's the denominator? Four. And what was, what was my clue? What did I tell you if the numerator and the denominator are the same number? It means it's a one. Good job. And there we have a whole pizza. Boys and girls, I have loved every moment of teaching math to you this year, and I hope you continue to be those great mathematicians and keep working. Work all summer on your math facts. Do your addition and your subtraction till you can do them in your sleep, okay? That would make me so proud of you, okay? I love you and I'm going to miss you so much and thank you for being in my first grade class. Love you. Have a great summer.